We've already shown it's possible to put legislation on the president's desk that moves us beyond Obamacare and its years of failure. We did that two years ago. President Obama vetoed what we passed. President Trump will sign what Congress passes this time. I want to thank the president and the administration for all they've done on this issue already. They work with us every step of the way, and they, like us, <clears throat> know the consequences of failing to act. Look, we can't let this moment slip by. We can't let it slip by. We've talked about this too long. We've wrestled with this issue. We've watched the consequences of the status quo. The people who sent us here expect us to begin this debate, to have the courage to tackle a tough issue. They didn't send us here just to do the easy stuff. They expect us to tackle the big problems. And obviously, we can't get an outcome if we don't start the debate. And that's what the motion to proceed is all about. Many of us on this side of the aisle have waited for years for this opportunity and thought it would probably never come. Some of us were a little surprised by the election last year. But with a surprise election comes great opportunities to do things we thought were never possible. So all we have to do today is to have the courage to begin the debate with an open amendment process and let the voting take us where it will. So that's what's before us, colleagues. We'll begin the debate on one of the most important issues confronting America today. It's my hope.